Okay, so for starters, if you're brand new to audible.com and you don't know much about them, the way that they generally work is it's like a subscription service for audiobooks and they're owned by amazon.com. And the way that it works is you just pay a monthly fee, they give you a credit for a book that you can redeem for any book in their entire library, and then you can listen to it whenever you want to. Now the other thing is they just added a new catalog to their subscriptions. So this means that you can actually stream some content kind of like Netflix. And this is a really good thing because this is an addition to getting the book credits that you're already receiving. So basically, depending on the membership that you choose, you can get a book every single month and then you can also stream some content that they have available for you and that's all a part of the membership that you're choosing. Now keep in mind that if you do order any books from them, like if you use a credit, those books are yours to keep forever. So even if you cancel audible.com, they're yours in your library no matter what, and they are yours to keep forever. And then if you wanna buy more books from them but you don't have enough credits, you can always buy more credits from audible.com, or as long as you're a member, you'll always get 30% off all of the books in their catalog. So for instance, if you're looking for any type of book like Harry Potter, you're always gonna get 30% off that price just for being a member. And that's also a good way to build up your library if you don't have any credits available. So honestly, if you don't read more than one book per month, then Audible probably isn't very worth it, but you can always use them, cancel, and then you can always sign back up whenever you're ready, whenever you want more books. Because a lot of the time what I do is I'll end up with too many book credits or I have too much reading to catch up on. And so I'll actually just cancel Audible for a few months. That way I can catch back up on my reading. And then when I'm ready for more, then I'll just re-sign back up and then just do it all over again. And I have found from canceling Audible a few times that every once in a while, they'll actually give you a reason to sign back up. So for instance, they might give you 50% off for the first three months, or they might give you a free book for re-signing up. So just keep that in mind. It's not a strategy to cancel, but it is a reason to re-sign up because sometimes they might just get you because they have a really good deal and obviously they want you to re-sign back up. Now, a lot of people do complain about Audible because it's not like Netflix in the sense where you pay a monthly fee and then you get to stream anything that you want. Audible just generally gives you that credit every month that you can redeem for a book. And so your library slowly grows over time. You can't just look up any book that you want on their library and watch it for free. But this is changing a little bit with their new plans because they've introduced a new plus catalog that I'll talk about here in a minute. But generally they are not like Netflix. You can't just look it up and stream it whenever you want. You're just mainly using their credits per month. Audible basically has two plans which are now called Audible Plus and Premium Plus. And these aren't too complicated because plus is just eight bucks per month and then that'll give you access to their Audible Plus catalog, which lets you stream or download thousands of books, podcasts, and Audible originals. So it's now kind of like Netflix, but if you go with Premium Plus for 15 bucks a month, then you'll get the same access to the Plus catalog, and then on top of that, you're gonna get one book credit per month for anything that you want, and then you'll also get the 30% off discount for all the audiobooks as well. And that feature does not come if you do the $8 a month plan. So honestly, if I were picking between the two plans, I would always go with the $15 per month plan because I feel like that's a better value. But that's all perceived in the value that you're getting from Audible. And that's obviously up to you. Now, if you feel like one credit per month is not enough for the amount of reading you do, you can also do a two book per month plan that's 23 bucks a month. And then Audible also has yearly plans where they'll actually give you all the credits at once. And those are the best value, but you have to be doing a lot of reading in order for that to be worth it. So whenever you sign up with Audible, just make sure that you look through their plans, do the math and find out what's the best value for you. Because honestly, if it doesn't work out, you can always switch plans in the future or you can cancel like I've said before. 
And if you are brand new to Audible, they'll actually give you one free book just for signing up. And then on top of that, they'll actually give you 30 days for free to try out the other features. So if you want to get 30% off of their entire library, or you want to try out the Plus catalog and see what you can stream, kind of like the Netflix stuff, then that's included in the free trial as well. So I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below. You guys can click that and you can get your free book just for trying them out. And then keep in mind that if you do cancel with Audible, even with the free trial, you also get to keep that book forever. So keep that in mind. It's a free book. You get to keep it even if you cancel. Now, if you do happen to look up a book and it just says play next to it, then that's a really easy way to know that it's free from the Plus catalog, and this makes it really easy. So if you're searching for different books out there, most of them probably aren't going to be in that catalog, but if you do find them, just know that you don't have to use a credit on them. And if you do just want to browse the Plus catalog, you can access it right from Audible's homepage, and that way you can see all the books that are inside of there that are free with any membership. And Audible also says that they release new titles every single week to the Plus catalog, so that way you don't have to wait forever to get new titles, you just have to check back every single week and see if there's something that you might be interested in. And another cool main feature that Audible offers is if you happen to be reading a book and you just don't like it, then they actually allow you to exchange it for a credit and that way you can get another book. And this is really good for customer service because honestly, if you just don't like it or if you don't care for the book, you can exchange it for another title and then it's really easy to do. Now, as far as their customer service goes, I personally feel like they've always done a really good job and I've never had a problem with credits expiring or exchanging books or anything like that, but I've always just done things the honest way. So as long as you do things that you're not abusing their system with, I'm sure they're always going to be willing to help you and make things right. Now, one of the only things that I don't like about Audible is just the fact that some of the books in their library are really cheap in comparison to how much your credits are costing you. So for instance, you might find a book on there that's $8, but your credit might have cost you $15. So in this case, I kind of wish they did something else, like maybe used half a credit for some of those cheaper books but this is really one of the only problems that I've found with them. Now, when this does happen and you find a book that's cheaper than your credit, then what I personally do is I just buy that book a la carte with the 30% discount, and then I save the credit for something that's of more value, just so I'm getting the best bang for my buck every single month with that subscription. So like I said earlier, as long as you read more than one book per month, then I personally feel like Audible is definitely something to consider. Now, once again, if you're brand new to Audible, you can get that free book. I'm going to leave the affiliate link in the description below. So just for signing up, you can get a free book with them. But thank you for watching. Have a great day.